Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm over here at Kings Canyon by TriPoint Homes, taking a look at all the models. They have four different floor plans to choose from and three models on display. Right across the street is the Overlook models, and this is actually the Overlook community. Kings Canyon's gonna be just right over there. And the HOA for Kings Canyon is going to be $154. 106 of that goes to Kings Canyon and 48 of that goes to Summerlin West. So right now I'm looking at plan three. And this model on the sheet is 3,014 square feet. But on here it says that it can go up to 3,289 square feet with four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and a two car garage with storage. Now when you do buy new construction, the homes are gonna come with pavers on the driveway and in the entryway, and your front yard is gonna come landscape, just FYI. This community opened up a couple of weeks ago and they've already sold eight homes, and they have about a couple left right now for sale, and they're gonna be releasing more next week. Oh, wow. I like that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's absolutely stunning. Wow. This is beautiful. Wow. I want my yard like this. Wow. This is a perfect day to be hanging outside with a nice little fire pit. OMG. The starting price on this model is 785k now that could change by the time you watch this video and also depending on elevation the price will change so let's take a peek oh very nice i'm liking this model a lot let's take a peek Oh, it looks like they're missing some lights. I love those cabinets. No lights? What's going on? That sucks. This is beautiful. Look how big that island is. These cabinets are to die for. You know, a lot of the plants I'm noticing are missing in um, a lot of these places because they're back ordered. Um, gosh, this is gorgeous. I like that tile against the brown with the nice quartz countertops and the flat panel cabinets and look at this pantry where are the lights a fuse must have blown hmm. yep no lights in here so the sids in this community are eighteen thousand, and you'll pay it until 2049 and it's roughly 1600 a year the lot premiums are pretty reasonable as well compared to Overlook. If you have a home without a view, it's around 25 to 45K. And if you buy a home that does have view, it's around 125 plus K, depending on the view and the elevation. This is very open and airy. I like the color scheme. Hmm, maybe not. That's just not my choice, but I like the browns. This is a good size yard. Unfortunately, they've locked the yard, so, or locked the doors. Maybe. This one doesn't look like it's locked like the other ones. <gasps> wow. Amazing. Yeah, this is feels like a great size lot. They did not put a pool in this one. Instead, they put that beautiful water feature it made this like into like a game place where you have the climbing structure and I guess for your doggy <laughs> it's cute 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 I'm just amazed with this color of those cabinets I like them a lot let's see what's back here then you have a Half bath. Sorry, folks. The camera, the the lights aren't on. And then you have a bedroom down here. 
This is so neat. I want to have someone do this to my house. It's a good size room for downstairs. Homes that have bedrooms on the first floor sell very well. Masters with bedrooms on the first floor sell super well. And this is the basic, looks like a Petrofina. Very nice, three-fourths bathroom. Looks like all the electricity is out in this house, actually. Huh. Look at that. These tall ceilings. This is a beautiful entryway. And I like that the stairs match the cabinetry in the kitchen. It's beautiful. Good thing there's plenty of light in this house. And this has a nice loft area. A good size loft. I like that. Can I lock it? So beautiful. This is a beautiful deck. Wow. I really like tripoint homes. I really like how they design their homes. I'm very a modern type person. I like square, <laughs> not traditional at all. It's mid century modern look. It's like that cabinet right there is just right up my alley. It's a great color, too. All right, let's go room to room. Here's the first bedroom upstairs. It's a good sized bedroom. There you go, Rockstar Rob. Gosh, what do they call that type of flooring? Terrazzo? It looks like terrazzo flooring. Only one sink. I bet you, you may have an option of having two sinks in here. Oh, okay, cool. This is a Jack and Jill bathroom. So then the other bedroom has its own sink. So maybe I was wrong. They don't have double sinks because it's a Jack and Jill. This is Petrofina. And let's take a look at the insert. This is their standard insert, which is again, still very nice, basic standard insert, I think. Yeah, this is kind of like Terrazzo. I do believe that's the name of it. Let me know in the comments if I got that name right. Oh, that's cool. They did the same thing as they did in the loft, the color scheme. Imagine, very nice. And this came out from here. And then you have a hall closet. Yep, the lights. Wow, what is this? Okay, so here is the laundry room. Electricity's out in this house, but it looks like the laundry room goes into the primary bathroom. I'm going to save that for when we go into the bathroom. Alrighty, let's see what this thing is. Another linen closet. See, I want someone to do that to my house. That is absolutely stunning. This is a great size master, primary. Oh, nice, with the stacked stone tile. I like that, it's a matte finish. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, that's a beautiful piece right there too. That's very nice, actually. Let's take a look at this bathroom. Wow. I mean, green is pretty. I don't know how I feel about the mirrors being so small compared to that big wall. I mean, I know you want to feature that wall. I love the cabinets and look at this. This is what I love. I am a bathtub girl. This is perfect. I think this is a perfect size shower. I mean, nothing too big, nothing too elaborate. This is an actual perfect setup. Just this is weird. I think it's kind of short. 
the mirror placement could have been a little lower and could have been a little bigger, I do believe. But, you know, again, who am I? I'm just Angelo Hare, who's everywhere. <laughs> but look at this closet. This is a nice closet. Very large. You can put a nice little island in the middle. And I like the separate sinks. And then this leads into the laundry room, which I bet is an extra cost. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this when we were doing the tour. I've done so many tours that I forget. When you buy here, when you buy in this community, they already select the structural options have already been selected. So you are not able to change a few things structurally. However, you can still select your flooring, your cabinets, etc. The reason they do this is so that they can build this home in a reasonable time frame, at least 10 months. Unlike some other builders, Toll Brothers takes at least 12 plus months. So this way, the structural options are already selected. They got the permits from them so they can move forward with starting to build your home. But I really like this model. So to surmise it, this is plan three over here in Kings Canyon. And the square footage on this one is... 3014 four bedrooms three and a half baths and a two-car garage with storage let me know in the comments how you like my model home tour videos and if i should continue doing these if you're thinking about buying here in vegas i'm your local summerlin expert you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 as always, like, share, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Peace out.